ILO recommends heightening legal processes to minimize illegal migration. Ministry says various events are staged for the second generation diaspora. Hello and welcome to ABC World, I'm Asghar now with the hour's latest. Planning and Development Minister Fizuma Safa made and comfort with Paul Akiwimi, Director of UNCT-80's Division for Africa, least developed countries and special programs at her office. The two have reviewed uh, development activities in Ethiopia spearheaded by the UNCT-80, they have explored ways of enhancing cooperation between the organization and Ethiopia. Pakistan has agreed to launch Ethiopia's Green Legacy Initiative in the major cities including Lahore, Peshawar, Karachi, Quetta, Silkot, and Addis. This was agreed upon in a meeting between Jamal Becker, Ethiopian ambassador to Pakistan and uh, coordinator to Prime Minister on Climate Change and Environmental Coordination, Romina Khurshid Alam. Ambassador Becker lauded the role played by Pakistan in initiating a joint collaboration between Ethiopia and Pakistan last year. For her part, Romina Khurshid Alam expressed a keen interest in the launch of the Great Legacy Initiative in different cities of her country. As part of the ambitious Great Legacy Initiative to plant 50 billion trees in two phases, so far the country has planted more than 32.5 billion trees through the initiative launched by Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed in 2019. Japanese companies have expressed a desire to invest and expand their ventures within Ethiopia in various sectors. A Deputy Commissioner of Ethiopian Investment Commission, Dagato Kumbi, engaged in a productive dialogue with a delegation of Japanese investment and business professionals with an interest in doubling investment in Ethiopia. This esteemed delegation comprises representatives from esteemed Japanese corporations such as Panasonic, Toyota, and uh, Dodai Motors, which are currently invested in Ethiopia, demonstrating interest in various sectors, including electronics, insurance, electric mobility, and automation systems. Deputy Commissioner Dagato expressed gratitude for the delegation's keen interest in investing and expanding within Ethiopia and pledged unwavering support and diligent oversight from the Ethiopian Investment Commission, it was learned. Then we will get up there and we will explore this
ፈጣሪ ቸርነት ይሄው ድረስን ካቶኒ ቶሞኒ ለሞኔ ሀዲ ቀረንቺ ቀረሞይ ኮይ ሁንዲም ይወየን illegal migration is one of the critical international challenges that all actors need to fight and the root pushing factors of migration in that is core ethiopia is plowing ahead with multiple initiatives towards improving labor labor migration governance and the skills in the country by developing clear policy uh, frameworks uh, legal instruments as well as signing international labor treaties Talking to EBC ILO country office head Ida Awol underlined that reducing harm caused by migration and managing migration itself remain critical. Habitam Washagir has the following account. Information is showing that illegal migration is a key problem of various countries. Due to socioeconomic as well as political challenges, the number of migrant people is increasing time to time. To Talking to TBC at this dialogue, I law office director Aida I will explain the major challenges. I'll say that's the major challenge. Uh, there's a need to ensure that the regular pathways, when migrants are well informed about what is regular and irregular, because Sometimes the challenge we have is lack of uh, information, lack of awareness of the potential migrants between the regular and the irregular migration. Uh, so in that regard, of course, there's more that needs to be done. I know a lot of awareness raising has been done over the years, but still sometimes uh, the potential migrants does not have adequate information but as well as ensuring that the migration processes are efficient and effective and uh, yeah, better managed so that uh, migrants opt for, um, for regular migration rather than irregular migration. The government of Ethiopia is implementing multiple initiatives towards improving labor migration governance and skills in the country by developing clear national policy frameworks, legal instruments, as well as signing international labor treaties. On this move, despite many pushing factors, I just it for all migrants to do necessary steps to use legal way of migration at all levels. They don't need to put themselves at risk. There is the regular pathways, so they would, they, I would I really encourage all migrants to migrate through regular uh, migration and also the need for coordination among all relevant actors. So migration cannot be done by one ministry alone or by one institution alone. Different actors, whether it's government or non-government, uh, have a role to play in terms of migration. So I will encourage all of us to do our part. ILO and other relevant stakeholders are dreaming to create adequate public awareness on migration. Following the call by the Ethiopian government, members of the second generation diaspora have continued arriving in Ethiopia. Approached by ETV upon arrival, the diaspora say this is a splendid opportunity to see the real situation on the ground. The Ministry of Tourism announced that it has finalized preparations to engage the diaspora in a host of events. Shagoya Matao takes it from here. The second generation Ethiopian diaspora continue arriving in Ethiopia following the call of the Ethiopian government to connect with their culture, history, tradition and the current situation of the country. Officials from the Ministry of Tourism carry on to welcome the second-generation Ethiopian diaspora and friends of Ethiopia at the Boli International Airport. The second-generation diaspora expressed their excitement while they arrive in Ethiopia. First time to be in Africa, first time to be in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, and I am really excited to, to see home country. We can say it also home country is uh, part of all, also culture. All the churches and uh, you can visit. I don't know the places. But as they say, it, it will be as rich in culture. It deserves to be visited and to see it and to discover it for your own. 
State Minister for Tourism, Lensa McConnell, for her part in the kept that awareness creation is being made to the second Ethiopian diaspora who are coming in three rounds on the current situation of Ethiopia. <laughs> The diaspora have the interest to come and realize about Ethiopia and judge the situation on the ground. In our embassies and consulates, we are trying our level best to help recognize the real situation of the country. The state minister also said that several events that participate the second Ethiopian diaspora have been prepared. We will let them visit the Adwa Memorial Museum and other geontic projects commenced to be constructed in the capital. We will also help them to visit Fichich Ambalala as it will continue to be celebrated in the coming two weeks. We will also promote other holidays that will be observed in the country. It is to be recalled that many second-generation Ethiopian diaspora came to Ethiopia in the first round following the call of the Ethiopian government from last December to January. Well, before I sign out, let me now remind you of top stories of the hour once again. ILO recommends heightening legal processes to minimize illegal migration. Ministry says various events is staged for the second generation diaspora. Well, that's all we have for the hour. Many thanks for watching. I'm Asked Omat Nafwitz. Bye bye from me.